good evening everybody uh, i want to welcome you to this webinar this evening short one and the topic this evening is developing and sustaining club school links and the importance of of that to the club and the school take roughly in around about 20 minutes i would say to get through the webinar um, if you have any further questions on this at the end of it you can see our contact details at the end and any coach would be willing to help okay so just a brief introduction the phase club school links is a term often used in strategic documents grant applications and general discussions within clubs or sports development through schools or PE. The phrase is becoming more common within the GEA aimed at clubs and schools forming closer bonds in local communities to ensure future sustainability. The players the GEA will rely on over the next 20 years are all now in schools. It's vital that clubs get these children on board as soon as possible, as effectively as possible. Establishing the links gives young people the opportunity to continue participating in sports and physical activity from the club environment to the school. We'll see when we're going to talk about the processes involved in establishing these club school links. So why should clubs link to schools? Who should be involved? What are the benefits of forming a club school link? What can club school links or how can club school links work? What makes the link effective and successful? Who else can be able to assist in the development of these links also? So why should clubs link to schools? Children are more likely to get involved if they know what they're dealing with. If they've already seen club coaches in the school, they're familiar with the surroundings. Some schools, especially large urban areas, don't know what GA clubs are in their area or who the point of contact may be. Schools and clubs can work together to promote opportunities for participation in all forms of GA activity from playing to the social sides of it as well, i.e. score. Who should be involved? Well, firstly, the children and your parents, school staff, school PE coordinator, club coaches, club school liaison officer, club committee members, youth committee members. What are the benefits of forming club school link? Well, I suppose before we go into that, the importance of this time of year, most clubs are now sitting down preparing for AGM. So we're looking to form new committees, subcommittees. And the way things are developing nowadays is that the clubs have to have a more active face presence on the ground, especially with the school environment. Uh, GA might not be the only sport that you're competing against. You could have other sports that are influenced the schools as well. So I think it's very important that clubs take the time now this time of year and look at their local schools and address the issues around forming those good club school links. So from the club's perspective, benefits, more young people involved in the club, opportunity to identify talent of the future, increase participation levels in the club, raise the profile of Gaelic games in the community, potential access to school facilities and equipment, a safe environment for the children, opening club to, to access wider community and, aid, and engage with others from non-GA backgrounds, increase potential to recruit new volunteers for coaching. For the school themselves, more active and ultimately healthier pupils, increased funding opportunities, raise the profile of the school within the community, higher standards in school teams due to better coaching received, access to the GA facilities, 
support and assistance with extracurricular activities, recognition that supports development beyond the school environment. So we now look at how can club school links work? What sort of things can you do to create links? So from the club's perspective, appoint someone to liaise with the school. So as I said earlier, when you sit down for your AGM, this is the time to look at these things. Identify somebody within the club that you believe would be good to operate in this role. Somebody that has already maybe have children within the school, uh, has a close relationship with the school already, or has that personality that is very open and friendly and would be able to work on behalf of the club within the school. Uh, help fund the school's GA work. These are things that the club can look at. Off the school use of club facilities for sports day or other events. Promote the idea of a club member becoming a member on the Board of Governors. So in essence, what you're looking there is that you, the club is represented on the school Board of Governors. That you have the voice. You can speak to the, for the club through the, through the school. Provide people with assistance for extracurricular activities. Ask the school to provide the club with a space to promote club activities, notice boards. You'll see this throughout later on in this presentation. You see some active clubs that have taken this initiative and have notice boards and work very successfully in their schools. So the message is always getting in. Link with the school's PE coordinator. So very important that we communicate to the school and we go through the correct channels. So there's always an understanding of the availability to engage with bringing in somebody to coach from the club. Um, through the PE coordinator of the school, you can get an understanding of when's best to suit, when isn't, and open that channel conversation. Running coaching sessions during term time, where possible. Tell the schools about pupils' achievements. So this is where the pupils you have are in school, coming from school into your club, and the achievements that they're, they're as a team, so how they're doing, you know, feedback to the school on how each individual is doing. Provide officials for school tournaments, i.e. coming to bond school competitions. This is probably an area where schools would have difficulty is when they actually go out to tournaments, having key personnel available to assist them on the day. Uh, this is definitely an area where clubs can help the schools and establish those links. Make regular school visits, so periodically check in how things are going, uh, via your school liaison officer, see how the school's feeling, anything additional that might be required, or things they got there, just keeps the, the conversation open. Provide schools with properly vetted coaches as per school's policy. So obviously very important that anybody's gonna get involved in your schools from your club that they've been vetted, uh, they're going into a school environment. So you need to understand the policies that each school has and adhere to those policies. So for the school, school promotes the club by highlighting and promoting upcoming events, provide the facility to run sessions in the school, invite club coaches to speak about their club in school assemblies or parent teacher meetings, uh, open nights, prize nights, things they like got there. Dedicated a notice board point of information to the club. So when you go into the school, any parents make drop offs or pickups, that there's a visual point of reference that the club's posted information that all the pupils in the school understand when training sessions are taking place, any special events coming up, etc. Provide the club with letters of support for funding applications. So this can work, you know, in the community that joint up thinking can help, you know, fund projects that would benefit both the club and the school. Provide advice to pupils about getting involved. So 
you know, from time to time, you could find some children aren't been involved in the club. And this is an opportunity for, for you to, the school, to do their bit back to the club, support them, and maybe give the individuals a, a nudge in the right direction about are you attending your club training sessions, you know, point them to when it's on, things like that there. Regular communicate club opportunities and information to parents. So anything that's going on, you relay that information out to the parents through school newsletters or whatever form of communication the school's using. Distribute any promotion material that the club may have. So the likes of maybe notes been handed in from the club about change of training sessions or stuff like that there. Encourage teachers where possible become qualified GA coaches that can help in the school, uh, benefits the club also. And I know of clubs that have actually helped assist with that there, you know, they've, they've provided the funding towards some teachers and schools to do their, their coaching awards. And then help the club in other areas such as score or culture or heritage work. You know, it's not always about the playing side of our Gaelic games. There's also the other side of it. There's the social side of it. And scores an avenue that people, children, or even adults that just don't have that playing need or want, that they can find another way to be involved in their GA. So now, what makes a club school link effective and successful? So when a school and club are working well together, they put the children at the centre of everything. Talk to each other regularly, respect each other, have a shared vision, communicate well with young people and parents, agree expectations and goals, build on what young people have learned in share and develop teaching and coaching expertise, share facilities, equipment and resources. Find ways to enable young people to take part in club activities. So they leave the children and each other better than they found them. And ultimately recognize and share and celebrate achievements. These are all good examples of how effective successful club school links can be. <clears throat> Who else can be involved to assist with developing club school links? So there's other avenues to go down. So from from our perspective, from the coaching and game side of things, uh, you know, clubs can link up with the school coach who's in that area. They can have the conversation around what coaching blocks the club coaches in and what coaching block the county coach happens to be in the school. So, for example, if a county coach was in doing a six week coaching block and then happened to be out of the school for the next six weeks, those type of conversations can be had around, you know, that to fill that void that allows the club the opportunity to go in an additional day that the county coach isn't available or timetabled on a, a different school that they can they can fill that void that's been created. Uh, county coaching, I suppose, could facilitate coach education programs for clubs and schools, so they can. Uh, give additional support to help schools develop club schooling. So clubs that might haven't went down this avenue before, so these are areas there coaching game staff could help uh, guide clubs through uh, and help break the ice as such, maybe with some of the schools around any reservations they could have on them. And then outside of ourselves, you have Ulster GA. There's numerous different programs there that, you know, clubs, schools could link into. So there's different programs out there, like GA for All, inclusive program. Uh, you also have the Regional Horland Development Officer. So clubs could as avail of sessions or taster sessions around Horland. You may have uh, and if they want to try and get it up and running in the club, they could tap into 
these other people are available to try and assist or break the ice and taste the sessions in the school and link up that way. Uh, and then outside of that, in the general context, we have Sport and Unite Community Program. So it's a wider context where you're involved in more cross community. Uh, opens up an avenue to tap into other people that have having come from traditional GA backgrounds that uh, through the likes of this program, you know, there's opportunities to get to understand each other's cultures and bring them together out there. So you can. And then from local council point of view, uh, there's always grant funding applications out there. So clubs, schools can link through local council to see what's available, what funding is there. And by working together, open up avenues where you you could find sources of funding for different things. Uh, Council could also help provide wider information around other sporting opportunities within the communities. So we can, so these could all be promoted to the clubs and schools. Uh, there's also, in the past, there's been cross community twinning programs. So like this peace money that has been, been used in the past, so clubs could opportunity maybe to receive funding through that and um, as I said previously open up other avenues to increase members within the club so try and taste recessions in cross community environments non-traditional GA people uh, ethnic minorities such things they got there Look at five easy steps to establish strong club school links. So this is it all in a nutshell, basically. So step one would be work out what a club wants from and can give to a club school link. Appoint a school liaison officer. Meet with the school principal and teachers responsible for sport and games. Outline the club's work, its aims and objectives. Outline the club's hopes and plans regarding its link with the school support, with the support of the school in involvement in the coming upon school competitions. Formalise arrangements regarding mutual use of each other's facilities. Establish and keep provide up to date notice boards in the school or provide financial or other support for Gaelic games in the school along with coaching sessions. Clubs could also host games, blitzes for clubs, open up their facilities for these. Uh, seek a club input to the school in relation to prize nights. Uh, seek schools input for clubs regarding score or heritage programs. And the last one would be seek a GA presence on the Board of Governors, actively support school plans projects and bids for funding, support the school in its wider community activity, ensure that the Gaelic ethos is reflected in the school prospectus. Well, I suppose throughout the slides there you would have seen maybe we clips and Posted on the side of pictures that of clubs that have been in school. So these are just some of the testimonials that some of the clubs in the county have kindly and the schools have kindly provided me with. So one particular school, we had excellent support last year from our local club. Three parents of the children in the school who are very active in the club came and took P5, 6s and 7s for one session per week. Often two of these parents worked with each class, which was brilliant for some of our classes have large numbers of above 30. Uh, Irvington Club also provides us with coaching support when attending tournaments. Another statement, the Harps Club chairman often 
or sorry, the Harps Club Chairman and Club of Officers maintain regular contact with our school. They offer an annual on an annual basis the provision of materials and resources to provoke Gaelic games in our school alongside weekly club coach providing some after school coaching to the school. As a club, we picked up a few extra players that hadn't been involved in the club before. They were from non-traditional GA backgrounds, which was great for us to integrate them into the club. So this quote came from a, an actual club coach who had been in the school and done a number of coaching sessions for them. And through that there, he identified a number of pupils in the local primary school that hadn't been out to the club before. Um, through his endeavours of been in the school, I actually managed to get a few of these children to come along to the club for the first time. So it was excellent from their perspective because they gained additional player members to the club. St Mary's Primary School, Temple and Temple Maguire's have always been inextricably linked. We at St Mary's view our local GA club as an extension to the school itself. This ensures that pupils grow and mature both inside and outside of the school with a strong sense of community belonging. The club are always available and provide support and assistance to our school with resources alongside financial support, which is always appreciated. So this statement in itself comes from the school about the importance it is for their say from their perspective on maintaining those club school links and how beneficial it is to the pupils first and foremost and the understanding of how that continual cycle revolves around the children into the club, back into the school and how they link it all in together. And the last one here, the benefits of good school links for Daring Only Club are enormous. For here and now, and for the club's futures, medium and long term. For the youngsters to help open a doorway to an interest in some shape or form will last a lifetime. For school who consistently engage in such a link, it earns the respect and gratitude of the parents, the local community, and above all else, the youngsters themselves. So those are just some of the testimonies that have been provided. Some very strong statements there, and we can clearly see the benefits that works both ways. I say these are the types of things that have been going on in schools. So schools are having clubs in been running colouring competitions, uh, promoting healthy health and well-being, lifestyle, those type of different things. Uh, and you can see regular visits to school, maybe successful school teams in showing off cups, notice boards, uh, all those things are very important for schools and clubs to engage in. So it's always a point of of reference when you go into school, you see the notice board, you can see the activities going on, you can see how the club are supporting them and how the schools supporting the club by posting up, up achievements. So I know the presentation was short and uh, these are just our contact details. If you have any follow up questions or information around these here, uh, all the contact details are there. You can also find content on our Twitter page of what club coaches or, or sorry, the county coaches are out doing in the schools and engaging that way. Um, we've recently a YouTube channel set up and we're in the process of building resources on that there. And I hope you have all taken something away from that. As I said, don't be afraid to contact any of us on any further uh, help or assistance you need in relation to this. Thank you.